I was deep inside the attic just yesterday and I came across an old bag of bricks. And it took me back to an interesting time in my life when I was living in Hong Kong. There was an episode of my travel series where I came across this amazing local guy who was selling loads of his Halo Mega. Now he never actually knew what Halo Mega was necessarily. He just loved army building them off Chinese websites. He had amassed a collection of hundreds of figures and he didn't even know really what the game was. He'd never played any of it. He'd never watched the cutscenes. He just loved the attention to detail on the micro action figures. I ended up buying a lot of stuff off him. We made a series of videos. We became very good friends. And just before I left Hong Kong, he handed me a bag of bricks and he said, there's something inside here. It's probably Halo. I don't know what it is. You can have it. So it was a nice parting gift between the two of us. I put that bag in a box that was then shipped by boat to England, it took about four months. And it stayed in the attic for years. And the other day I was feeling a bit down in the dumps, a little low on energy. And I went into the attic, I found this bag and I thought, you know what? Let's see what's inside. In that bag was one of the rarest vehicles out there, 100% complete, the Mega Constructs Wolverine. And I built this on a cold, rainy evening, and it really took me back to a place that I've maybe been missing uh, for the last couple of months. We compare this, of course, to the very first Wolverine, one of the first ever Halo Mega sets, and you can see how far Mega have come in so many different ways. From the rocket being one fixed piece to this really detailed built up mechanism, to the amount of printed detailing, the way that this has been crafted and fits together, interlocking, snapping, movable pieces, a clear docking mode, which kind of reminds me of the lights and sounds Cobra, the exposed fiery engine at the back and the way the hood is lifted up by these large metal rods. Everything is so much more smoothed off. It's got that Halo Wars 2 aesthetic with a more gritty real Gosh, the amount of printed pieces in the pilot seat and the way it all folds in on itself and things that have basically stayed the same that you can tell that these sets have been designed by the same people over the years. Something like this Wolverine truly shows how much Mega have mastered this entire genre. It's truly a work of art and yet at the same time it feels like no time has passed at all. You know, I've been making YouTube videos about these products for almost as long as they've been in existence. And something like this really gives me some perspective almost at how much time has passed yet how little amount of time has passed at all. When I first started making YouTube videos, it was pure passion and just for the fun of it. And also because I thought I would have a future in content creation. And here I am full time, but not really making ends meet. It's just an interesting point of reflection. I've always wanted to get this Wolverine and now the only remaster that's missing is the aerial ambush. I shall acquire that one day. I remember most of the first times I ever got these vehicles. You know, my first ever Halo Mega set was the original Mongoose with Elite and Sniper Rifle Spartan. I think my next purchase was a original Series 1 blind bag, but then uh, my first real purchase that made me realize that I was going to be in it for the long haul was the original ODST Sniper Drop Pod. That was the first time I thought, this is just incredible. The amount of detail and the painted sniper rifle. You may notice there's like a, a little bit of an undertone to this video. You know, nostalgia is a wonderful thing, uh, but it's also something that can maybe in some ways hold you back. I am still at a point with the domain where it's not profitable, it's not a sustainable future for myself. I'm asking a lot of really hard questions at the minute about what my future holds, but I'm so deeply rooted in this community. I, I want to have such a commitment to this community and it's frustrating, you know, when you've made videos for over a decade on these products and you release them and they still just don't perform well enough to sustain yourself. You know, I've um, been making short form content a lot recently. Every single day this year, pretty much I've made a short form video on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. The numbers have been there. The success is there. You know, it is more subscriber gains. It is more views. It doesn't equate to anywhere near the same ad revenue. Uh, shorts don't really pay. It's been, I don't know, short form content is just not 
the same as as long form content. It's just not as wholesome. It all buckles down to like how many seconds can you keep retention until people swipe away? You have to just be constantly feeding this machine and I don't really think it's healthy. I haven't uploaded a main video to the channel in three weeks, uh, which is a long time for me. I haven't really missed a week in, in, a, in a few years, but uh, no, I've gone three weeks this time. A bit of time for self-reflection, but also um, I've just been wholly lacking the motivation. I've been just going through a, a strange time in my life um, and you know, I'm about to turn 30 years old. I want to make Halo Mega videos for as long as I live and breathe, but there's this really unfortunate comparison between how many views, well, how many hours you put into a project versus how much physical money you've made because I have to start saving. I have to start, you know, looking towards the future and looking towards a mortgage. And if this channel isn't exclusively paying my bills, it was last year really well. Um, I got some really good contracts last year. I was very blessed and maybe that'll happen again. But at the minute, um, you know, everything's quiet. Everything's all quiet on the front. And I've st I'm still partnered with Mega a hundred percent. You know, um, we still have a really wonderful partnership. I, I feel very blessed by it, but um, I need to, um, I don't know, I need to be making big decisions in my life. The last thing I wanna do is slow down on or, or, or move on from the domain. I don't think that's something I'm gonna do. It's like I put out a short yesterday. I put, you know, I had a creative spurt. I made a short about um, a Halo 3 guitar that was one of 20 in the world. It was pretty epic, but it massively underperformed, even though I thought it was a, a really beautiful video. And that happens all the time with content creation, that happens all the time with art and you you do have to look past it. But um, basically with the domain, I have some big decisions to make. Um, my mental health has not been very good as of late and uh, I'm just trying to be honest with you all because at the end of the day, what am I here to do as a content creator? I think a lot of it is to be a role model for people and to to be a po like if I'm going to be a positive voice, I also need to be realistic and people need to know that things are not always, uh, you know, uh, golden roses. That's not an expression, but things aren't always uh, picture perfect. Um, I have just redecorated my room completely. I have a brand new desk, brand new office, a brand new Mac, and I'm going to give this another go. I'm going to give some new kind of content a go. But I'm not sure where it's gonna lead. I hope you'll stay by uh, by my side. You know, I've been making Halo Mega videos for 12 years. Burnout comes and goes. Um, this one has been quite vigorous, but I am fairly confident that uh, I'm gonna push through and give it another go with some new content. But you know, if you if you know if you like the channel, you support the channel, leave a comment. I was nervous about making this video, but I thought talking about this fun Wolverine was the perfect easy way. To, uh, to slide in some, some feelings. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe. Bless up. And the Mega Constructs Wolverine, look at that beauty, is signing off.